guys welcome to my channel um i'm going to be doing this eye look today so if you would like to know how to do this please watch okay so right now i'm just starting out with my eyebrows um i'm not really going to go into detail with this because i will make a definite tutorial um where you can actually see close up in HD what I'm doing to my brows um, it's not like the normal way you would do brows with the powder and um, the uh, brow pencil um, is definitely a totally different way um, than everyone else is doing their brows and sometimes I find this to be um, best if I'm going with like a dramatic eye look so right now I'm just going under it with concealer and making it more prominent like um, everyone else would do um, it's just not the same uh, brow product again um, most of this video, I'm going to try to keep on the eye closest to the camera so you can actually see what, the, what I'm doing. Um, right now, I'm just outlining my brow at the top, which is also giving me a highlight. Okay, so now I'm going to take a white... Uh, shadow base and place it all over my lid and as I'm placing it on my lid I'm also blending it into um, the brow concealer and right now I'm going to choose which color in this profusion palette to pick which was a salmon pink um, I'm going to place that in the inner corner of my eye um, probably to midway. I want to say to the, um, the midline of my lash line. And the other or outer corner of my eyelid, I'm going to just take a darker kind of fuchsia pink. And right now... I'm just blending it and overlapping it and also I'm bringing those same colors down to um, the bottom portion of my eye under my waterline so now I'm taking a Maybelline palette the nudes palette and I'm going to blend those two colors together to create my brow highlight and then I'm going in with a burgundy color uh, to create my crease. This will be my transition color um, for the darker shadow that I will lay down next. So now I'm taking this eggplant color and I'm basically creating a soft crease. Uh, I'm still blending it in with the uh, kind of burgundy color that I picked before and to enhance that eggplant plum color I'm going to take a black out of the Maybelline nudes palette um, and put it on the outer corner of my eye I'm not completely covering up the pink fuchsia color um, I'm actually just blending it into that and dragging it into my crease to make it more defined and dramatic so now I'm just taking that color and I'm blending it out and now I'm taking a while I stretch my eye I find that if I stretch my eye and bring it all the way out it gives me the curve that I want for my wing 
and then I can go ahead and make my wing as thick as I like it. Uh, next, I'm going to go in with the Sickle Scene Eyeliner in black and line my lower waterline. Then I'm going to go in with some um, mascara. You can use any that you want. I'm using the uh, Wet n Wild uh, mascara in the travel size so that my falsies can have something to adhere to. So this is the eye look before the false lashes. And now I'm just using a generic brand. Um, you can use whatever lash feels comfortable for you. Right now I'm just stretching it, stretching my eye, pulling it taut to put the lash on um, because I find that it helps it to not just stick straight out or fall down where it obstructs my vision. It actually stays up like a natural lash. Like if it is a little bit lower where it's obstructing my vision, I'll just take a lash curler and curl them up a little bit more. So this is the finished look of the eye look. Okay, so that's it. All Every step that I took to create my eye is in the video. All I did was went back and put on my foundation and highlight and contour. And I put this lip on... And I know it's raggedy. I'm not really good with lipsticks. Um, but it's by Wet n Wild. And it is called Think Pink. Um, and it's number 901B. So that's, what's that about? You're not going to be able to say it. And I apologize for the video quality of this video because... For some reason, my rechargeable batteries would not charge, so I could not film this video on my regular camera. I had to use my phone. But I was determined to record this eye look because I do dedicate this eye look to breast cancer. And it is uh, very near and dear to me because I've had people on my phone father's side passed from cancer and I've also had people on my mother's side pass, pass from cancer um today I actually went and got a breast augmentation no that's not correct well I got a pap smear which is very important for um women and I also got a breast exam um to make sure that I'm healthy everything came back clear thank God um but it's very serious for people to understand um uh, that your health is very very important I don't want to ramble too much but um I just was determined to do this look um, to dedicate it to breast cancer because it is special to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, the eye look that I created. Because I really, when I do my videos, I really don't know where I'm going when I start. Um, it just comes out. Um, if you want a detailed video on how... I glamify my face outside of my eyes. Um, give me a thumbs up. Also, like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comment box below, just let me know um, if you have any questions on what type of foundations I use, powders, or if you would like a detailed tutorial with no skips in between on how I highlight and contour my face and put my uh foundation on um it's nothing really special with the lips it's just lipstick no liner or anything um so thank you for watching my video it's your girl dominique with lavish du moi welcome to my channel i hope you are here to stay make sure you click that subscribe button 
because I'll have more looks coming soon. Thank you. Love you.